So I really like using the terminal for my programming projects as much as possible, partially because it's so powerful and partially because it makes me feel like I'm a programming hipster. But ever since I've learned how to use it, I've never been completely happy with how you navigate in the terminal. You type ls to see what's in your current directory. You use cd by typing out which directory you want to jump to. You can use tab to autocomplete as you're typing, but that's only useful as long as the contents of the directory are sufficiently different, and you have to actively think about that little subprocess. It's not like this is a disaster, but moving from one directory to another is one of the most basic functionalities of the terminal. You're going to do it a lot, and it takes at least nine keystrokes every time, if not a lot more on average. I feel like a better solution would be basically instant. You think and you are where you want to go. Now I have found some alternative movement patterns that people have tried. Dreams of Autonomy has a great video about Z-Oxide, which is a replacement for the CD command. It seems like the main focus of this project is to make it easier to travel immediately to certain directories you often move to. I do like this idea, and I'm sure it's helpful to the people that use it. It doesn't really address my keystrokes complaint. For my brain, I feel like I would rather move up and down the file tree, rather than just try to immediately jump to some place I've been to recently. Another approach is what the Primogen does, as he explains in this video. He basically uses a fuzzy search, which is a type of search where you don't have to get the spelling exactly right, to look through all of his project directories and jump to where he wants to go. Another clever thing he does is that this process starts a new tmux section in that location, which is kind of like a tab in your browser, so he can have multiple projects or locations open at the same time. I like the solution, but I want to navigate up and down the file tree rather than jumping immediately to some location, because I want to get a sense of where everything is. The third solution I've found is closest to what I'm looking for, which is terminal file managers. There are a bunch of different terminal file managers which all have their upsides. From my point here, I'm just going to talk about Ranger, which is pretty popular. And because Ranger is a file manager, obviously it can do a lot of other things, but all I really care about is its ability to move through directories right now. Once you start Ranger, you can see your directory and all this other information. You can use the arrow keys or the vim keys to move, going to the right enters a directory, and going to the left exits up one level. The important thing here is that if you press Shift and S, you exit Ranger at whatever location you've navigated to. Because of this, you can basically use Ranger as a replacement for CD. Instead of typing CD directory name every time you want to move, you just open Ranger, use the arrow keys to get wherever you want to go, and exit right there. Now I do like this, but my problem with it comes down to speed again. If I'm trying to navigate to some directory that's at the bottom of a list of 15 items, I'm going to have to just sit there pressing the down arrow key 15 times, which, again, is not awful, but that's not ideal. After looking for a while, I can't find anyone who's used the idea that I'm about to describe, so I'm just going to make the tool myself. Thinking about my problem with how I was using Ranger, rather than using the arrow keys to go down and select any particular directory, I would rather just instantly have the one I want selected. The easiest way I can think of doing this is just assigning each directory one key from the keyboard. A for the first in the list, S for the second, and so on. If you make the Enter or the Q key exit the program at the location you've navigated to, you could move fairly quickly and accurately through the entire file tree. That's a fun idea, but we actually have to try it out to see if it's a good idea. I'm going to describe the implementation, but I won't dwell on it too long because it reveals my own inexperience and lack of capability. I'm going to use Go to program this, because I like Go and I'm trying to learn it. Now I know for terminal applications you can do all the cursor moving and screen clearing manually by printing the right escape codes, but I don't feel like doing that, and I found this great package called T-Cell. T-Cell has some helpful functions for input, clearing the screen, and displaying text anywhere. This is all fairly straightforward. First we just initialize and clear the screen with T-Cell. If we run the program with just this, we can see the screen gets cleared, which is what I just said it did. That can all go in its own little initialization function. We then have a run function which just prints the contents of the directory and waits for an input from T-cell. When it detects a key press, if it's an exit key, we can just stop, but if it's an input trying to select a directory, we have a separate function to react to that. This function just checks if the input is one of the directory selection inputs and then changes directory to the appropriate one. I also decided to make the E key cause the program to jump up to the parent directory. And that's pretty much all we need, I think. So if we exit the editor, build this, run this, we can see we basically have what I was describing. We immediately have the contents of whatever directory we were in. I can move up or down instantly into any directory I want. I guess the way I have it set right now, I would be in trouble if the directory had more than 20 folders, but I think that's pretty rare. Most importantly, when I exit the program, I end up in the location I navigated to. 
Well, I should. You see, apparently, in the shell, any program that you run that changes the directory operates in a subshell. So even though my little Go program did change its directory, it didn't affect the original shell that we called the program from, which was the whole point of the program. We can fix this by making the Go program return the final location we navigated to, and then making a little bash script that does nothing other than call the Go program and then change directory to whatever the Go program says. So if we put both the Go executable and the little script somewhere where our machine looks for scripts, we now have a command to move around the terminal quickly, like I described before. And that's pretty much the whole project. I've been using this prototype for a while, and I do feel like I prefer using this tool to move around rather than the default tools. One of the nice things about the terminal is that you can customize it to match your preferences, so even if no one else likes this idea, it works for me. If you're interested in this project, I have the code linked below. If you have any corrections or suggestions or just ideas about how to improve it, uh, please do comment and tell me about them. And if you have your own way of moving around the terminal in some creative fashion, please, please also tell me about that, because obviously I like these different tools that people use.